This is amazing. Now we have a model called Tiny Llama. It is a 1.1 billion parameter model pre-trained on 3 trillion tokens. This is so tiny that you can run this on a local computer and also a local device. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Tiny Llama 1.1 billion parameter model. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this, how you can try it on your local computer and do a few tests. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. The easy way to run Tiny Llama in your local computer is using LM Studio and also Olama. I've already covered LM Studio and Olama setup step by step in another video, which I will link that in the description below. So in LM Studio, you can just type Tiny Llama and then click enter. There you can see different versions available. I'm going to use the Blokes Tiny Llama and then you can click the download button to download the model. Once that is done, you can go to the chat section. There you can select the model. I'm going to use Tiny Llama. Here I can ask questions or ask it to do any task in this chat box. Another way to run is using Olama. To download Olama, you can go to olama.ai website and then download it. Once that is done, you can just type Olama run Tiny Llama and then click enter. This will automatically download the Tiny Llama model and then you can start using it. I'm going to ask write a meal plan for today and it gives me the meal plan. It's very fast. Create a cover letter and then click enter and it gave me a cover letter. Next going to ask what is heavier, 1 kg of feathers or 1 kg of stone? Just logical and reasoning. Both are equally heavy. That's correct. Calculate this number. That's the next question I'm going to ask and then click enter. It's giving step by step answer and the final output is zero, which is wrong. Just to test context awareness, if it's raining, should you take an umbrella and then click enter? If it's raining, yes, you should take an umbrella. That is correct. Next to test grammar, correct the sentence. She don't know. Correct it. She doesn't know. That is correct. Just a general knowledge, who is the Prime Minister of the UK in 2012? And then click enter. It says David Cameron, that's correct. Next, going to give some programming tasks. Write a Python function to find the factorial of 5. And here is the answer. I'm going to copy this. Paste that in VS Code. I'm going to run that. And it is syntax error. So that is wrong. Create a snake game. It gave me the instruction. I'm going to ask again. Create a snake game in Python. And here it prints out the program. I'm going to copy this, paste that in VS Code, installing Pygame, which is a required package, and then running the code. Seems like there's another error. So this is a fail. So overall, this model is good in the sense of doing basic tasks and it is able to run on your local computer. The inference speed is faster as well because of its tiny size. I'm going to create more similar videos like this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.